Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and we are going through my deck collection one box at a time. And we are on box number 15. That's right, can you believe it? That we've gone uh, through 15 boxes together. That's, that's pretty incredible. And so uh, the way this works, uh, people just asked, you know, they said, hey, show us your deck collection. I just kind of felt this was a little bit more original, a little bit more creative than other deck collection videos that I've seen out there on the interwebs. And um, all these boxes are blind boxes. This one isn't labeled at all. So I have no idea uh, what's inside. So I'll be opening this live in front of you and then kind of just making it all up as I go along. So I'm going to push these over to the side kind of group them together, how I think they should uh, come back out in presentation form, and we'll get started. All right, this is quite an interesting selection of decks. And so I think first, uh, we'll start with, uh, we'll start with some bicycles, right? We'll start off with, uh, with these. These are the Foilback Crimson deck. You can see it's black matte, red foil, red foil back design as well. Uh, you know, air cushion finish made in the USA. Metal Lux, and I don't know that it's going to be too interesting. It's a red foil back design of the standard 808s, right? Standard 808s rider back, but probably super thick because of the metal foil. Standard Jokers, standard Ace of Spades, uh, blacks are black, reds are a little brighter than a standard red. Uh, colors on the courts. Um, just blacks and reds, nothing else. A little light gray there, but nothing fancy. Uh, good, straightforward uh, worker deck. And I think if you worked with 808s, but you didn't work with gaffs, right, uh, you might like this because they're a little, a little flashier, a little fun, probably uh, sparkle and gleam inside of restaurant or bar lights. And so it might be uh, an option for you, especially if you like thicker cards, right? You want your cards to last a little longer. I'm sure the Metal Lux uh, cards will hold up. Uh, let's look at Oblique. Oblique uh, is Adrian Venezuela and Card Cuts. Got pretty simple back design. Simply says Oblique. What did I say? A very simple tuck case is what I meant to say. Uh, I leave all the mistakes in these videos because um, I'm a human being just like you who makes mistakes. Uh, there's your back design. Very... Uh, Esoteric, very out there, very uh, modern art. You got a little cigar band action in the artwork happening there. So it kind of makes a really nice uh, fan, right? So that's your back design. A lot, very busy, right? Very busy. Probably works better as a uh, cardistry deck. There's your Ace of Spades, says Oblique, and your two Jokers which say Joker. <laughs> got a fun ad card there. Got a fun ad card for card cuts. Your court cards are kind of, again, very modern art, very Pablo Picasso looking. Yeah, all broken up, but lots of color. Uh, original font in each corner, original coloring and style of your pips. That was a club. Let's find a uh, heart. Looks like that. Kind of almost looks like a misaligned 3D effect as well, doesn't it? There's your spades. I don't know that there's anything else to show you with that one. Very creative, obviously more of a cardistry deck, collector's deck, right? I kind of wary about do, uh, did I say wary? I kind of worry about using uh, decks like that for uh, magic just because it's harder to uh, identify certain key cards and I always want my spectators to, to know exactly what card they're getting. Uh, this is the WH deck that was um, put out by whdecks.com and very simple, little power button graphic there, little zeros and ones on the side, barcode, very simple. Inside, I believe it's just as simple, little, the WH logo there, which makes for a really nice uh, poker style signature back, right? And that's one of your jokers. Uh, the court cards, kind of like the one we just looked at, right? With just all the colors stripped out, nothing but blacks and reds. Got some original court faces there, especially on 
this queen here you can see. Um, there's a card reveal in the corner of that one. This guy's wearing sunglasses. You'll also notice that in the pips in each corner, uh, one's blacked out and one's not blacked out. Um, going through, there's your ace of spades and your aces all have removed color from the center. That's his 21, so that could also be a reveal, right? And then you have an interesting pip uh, removed out of each corner. This one says, fight off. So I don't, I don't know what the deal was with all these pips, how each one is unique and original, each one's different, but there's a different piece of art uh, done for each pip. What were the extra cards? I just saw them. Oh, an ad card and a double backer and your joker. So that is the WH deck. Coffee break. Ah, gotta have my coffee break. Uh, let's look at this deck. This are, uh, these were a set of playing cards that Darren Brown put out in connection with Theory 11. Kind of looks like a little book with the golding, the gold gilding and uh, the back design uh, here. It's all embossed. It's all gold foil, original tuck seal there. It has Darren Brown's initials right there. You guys know that um, I'm like an uber Darren Brown fan, right? I love Darren Brown. Uh, easily the best mentalist alive today. There's your back design right there. And uh, do them across. There's your, there's your fan, right? Um, looks like you get an ad card here and a double backer. Uh, each one of these aces has kind of an original look and a story to tell. There's an original joker. There's your ace of diamonds and your ace of clubs. Um, original layout, original pips, original indices. So everything is redone for this deck. Let's find some other. Uh, there's your second joker. There's a spade. And let's find there's some court cards. So kind of an old timey look for the courts. The faces are filled in with a light pink. There's your diamonds. How come all the, yeah. I was gonna. I was gonna add. Uh, never mind. <laughs> I had an idea, and then I lost it. There's your cards there, and let's see what else do I got in here. Nothing. Nothing. All right. So yeah, it's a good little deck. I'm sure it's got a bunch of uh, bells and whistles built into it because it's you know, it's Darren Brown. It's, it's Theory Eleven. They make they make playing cards for magicians. Uh, this one's Versa, right here, and it's a little bar, you know, color code thing. It says high standard on that side. The bottom says they were designed in Sacramento. Shout out to my hometown. And just says Versa playing cards, and I hope you enjoy them. The back design is a one-way image that looks exactly like the back of the tuck case. And spread them across. Kind of looks like an old school generic uh, VHS cassette. At least that's what it looks like to me. Uh, your Ace of Spades has some color coming off of it and goes all the way to the edge. And it says relax and enjoy underneath that. The red suits are kind of a pinkish color. Blacks look standard. Standard blacks. Standard quartz as well. They've just been recolored in a more soft, baby, pastel colors, right? And let's see if there's anything else that's fun in this deck. What do you got? Double backer. Um, kind of a spot cards there that say enjoy on them. Another advertisement slash joker card. And that's it. So probably could use this for magic. Probably better geared as a cardistry deck though. Again, 
I think, in my opinion. Uh, let's look at first playing cards from Chris Ramsey. Uh, if you don't know who Chris Ramsey is, you live under a box because he's literally, he is literally the internet, right? He is YouTube. Uh, Puzzle King, Puzzle Master, also a content creator and magician. Got his logo right there inside first playing cards. I haven't been able to keep up with uh, first playing cards, unfortunately. I wish I, I wish I could. There's a bunch of palm branches. It says first in each corner. And it creates a little cigar band action happening there when you do your, your spreads. Ace of Spades is the palm kind of making up what a, it what it would look like. You get a snake card. You get two first Joker cards. Uh, you're going to get standard pips and indices because, again, Chris is a magician and he knows that, you know, when you get get too complicated, things kind of get in the way. Court cards have uh, foil. So a uh, really soft, like gray color mixed with a gold foil really makes uh, the court cards look unique, very interesting, adds a depth to them. And they're all kind of holding a palm branch too. So they're, they're, they're holding foliage, 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 to kind of go along with the theme of the deck. However, the men are still holding instruments of war. Well, except for the jacks, he's holding a, so a, a little uh, leaf of some kind. And that's it. That's everything. I made, a, I made a giant mess. And now you will watch me realign the mess and put it in the box. Got lots of cards left. Lots. Lots of cards left in box 15. Organic playing cards. Okay. Uh, organic playing cards are awesome. If you haven't checked out organicplayingcards.com, you should. They're very creative. Uh, they do a lot with food and uh, finding ways to make cards fun. They do. Uh, picnic style with a little, little picnic box, a little picnic blanket there on the top. Very bright back design, kind of an orangey red with an apple on top and bottom, which means really bold colorway, right? Your Ace of Spades is a tree, and then your black uh, suits are like a limey green. Got standard quartz, but with original colors. And then they're all holding various objects that I think um, apples make. So I think this is apple pie. This is apple juice, right? Uh, your red suits are still red. So that's nice. Okay. And again, got that kind of apple themed apple color port cards. And anything else interesting going through the cards? Get a blank card. Okay. And then you get two apple jokers organic playing cards.com go check out their social media make sure you're following them on instagram they're a really good follow um what else do i got let's do let's do aristocrat um every once in a while a standard staple workhorse deck pops up in these boxes so aristocrat playing cards these were a reprint um i wish i could remember who reprinted them maybe i'll maybe i'll put it down below uh orange and green so they're going to be, they're going to look like aristocrats that you've, that you're familiar with. So that's the orange back design. It's probably not going to show up as good on camera. So we'll look at the greens instead. But um, this is the back design that a lot of magicians have grown to love over the years. You know, you ask a magician, hey, what's your favorite uh, bicycle branded deck? And there are very many that will say aristocrat. Comes with a red backed uh, card for color changing, but there's your green. I think the thing with these was these weren't standard colors. Normally, aristocrat comes in red or blue, just like everything else. So I think the specialness of this was that it came in green and orange. So, but it's a standard aristocrat back that we all love. Uh, black spades look normal. Kind of a darker look for the quartz uh, gold foil on 
the accents. Uh, red is a deeper, darker red, which is my favorite red. I like it when deck designers go deeper and darker. Again, same color motif with go quartz throughout. It's going to be pretty standard. Not a lot of surprises with this one. Um, there's your aristocrat ace of spades. And your two aristocrat harlequin jokers. And there's your answer. It was magic apple. It was magic apple all the time. Another good follow, especially, uh, I think he's, I think he's on, uh, Instagram and TikTok, So he's a lot of fun. He doesn't, he does, he sometimes does reviews like I do, but he does a lot of performance magic too. And so, and he's always telling you about specials and deals that magic apple is running. So you should definitely make sure that magic apple is in your, uh, your feed. Um, I'm going to pause for another coffee break. I'll do another set. So we'll do equality and justice. You gotta say it like that too. You gotta say equality and justice. 2019 Passion playing cards in collaboration with Creative Studio designed by John Cho and Giordano Lodo. Printed by WJPCC in China. So there's all your there's all your deets. What do you want to look at? You wanna look at red or green. Well, we just kind of looked at, at one. Tuck case is a lot of fun embellishments, so I like that a lot. Um, there's your back design right there. It says, uh, does it say? What does it say? I know it's an ambergram. It's an ambergram that's so cool, I can't even read it. That's how cool it is. That's what it looks like. And let's just bust out red to be side by side. There you go. And we'll put we'll put a quality away, right? Because that's what we're all trying to do. Trying to erase equality. Yeah. And <laughs> we'll we'll go with justice, right? We should want justice and equality for everyone, right? Those are two things that go hand in hand. They're not separate, not separate things. I think we can all agree on that too. I think we can all agree on that. That is not a controversial statement whatsoever. Okay, that's, so that says justice. That's what it says. It says justice and you flip it upside down. It also says justice and you have the, the justice uh, statue, you know, the girl that's blindfolded and she's holding the scales. Yeah. And you get a double backer. Um, you get a, you get that girl. Let me cover, um, cover her. There you go. That's what it looks like. Try to keep it PG, kids. Um, there's your ace of spades with the with the scales. Original pips, indices, and font in each corner. This is a black suit, but I don't know if you can tell. It's kind of a a deep hunter green. Very beautiful court cards. Original faces. Look how gorgeous that looks. So, so good. Nice and clean. Uh, nice big aces. Uh, I like that too. Another uh, feature that I love in cards. There's also a border around the pips. So that's interesting. Um, reds are red. And again, original court cards. Look at that. Artwork. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. I'm, I'm in love with these queens. They're just beautiful. They should be, right? Those are all... These are all royalty. You should you should think all these picture cards are beautiful. That is that for that. And uh, I've been doing these coffee breaks, so I should grab the deck that looks like Starbucks. Because it is. It's a Starbucks deck. Probably came from Starbucks. No, Starbucks did not send this to me. Starbucks does not know Starbucks does not know I'm alive. Uh, my barista, my barista doesn't even know who I am. Uh, really short tongue flap, which means not bicycle, right? Probably made overseas so that they could give you the cheapest cards they could. One way back design at the coffee cup. Why didn't they stick their logo on there? I mean, out of all the things, right? Um, I'm gonna show you two spreads with these. Clumpy, very clumpy cards. 
So fine if you wanted to do magic tricks in a Starbucks, I guess. Really clumpy. And then blue suits and orange suits, making blue uh, faces. So your uh, black cards are the blues and your red cards are the orange. And so it's kind of a transition too. The cards start darker and go lighter as they go up. So that would also make the faces one way, right? So each one of the characters is originally drawn and beautiful, might I add. It's too bad they didn't print these on a better cardstock. And they're all holding a little Starbucks mug, right? Same with the red slash oranges gradient color scheme. It'd be neat if they would reprint these with a white background, right? Reprint them with a white background. Maybe put, maybe make these green borders. Wouldn't that be kind of cool? Like a dark green Starbucks green border. Leave the rest of this. Do these as white faces. Print them for a bicycle and uh, they'd be killer. Look, I just gave Starbucks a fantastic idea. Uh, all you guys that work for Starbucks, shoot that up the ladder and then give me some credit. And what else we got? That, oh, got your jokers. Got your Starbucks mermaid jokers. One blue, one orange, as you would think. But yeah, very clumpy cards. So obviously made uh, overseas, made from a company that uh, doesn't know how to make really good cards. But beautiful artwork. So whoever they got to hire, uh, whoever they hired for their artwork, did a fantastico job. Latin Quarter, another deck that I believe is not Bicycle. Uh, this is Doc's playing card company designed by Stark Designs, made for games of chance, is what it says. Premium play cards made in the USA. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. Latin Quarter. Original looking, right? Original Tuck Seal there as well. Trademark. I should be able to tell just by holding them. They don't smell like bikes. They don't spring like bikes. I could be wrong. Back, back design, but it's also a double backer. So let's, they spread nice. They spread nice. If I'm wrong, I'll put it on the screen. I'll let y'all, I'll let y'all know. Joker card, kind of scully, shields. Court cards, again, have a gold foil. This has been a gold foil court card box. Kind of been a theme going on. And original swirly pips there in each corner. Black pips look standard. Courts look standard, of course, too. Just with a, the recolor, the swirly pip in each corner, and then the gold foiling. Oh, interesting. Uh, aces. What an odd way to hold a card, David. You're, you're bizarre. Diamonds there. Might as well just keep the theme of dropping cards. Uh, red suits. There's your Ace of Spades. Oh, it says Lexington, Kentucky at the bottom of this. So I'm going to think that that's... Um, it's got to be a bicycle, right? Got to be a bicycle. Usually, if you have your cards printed from bicycle, you're so proud that you put it on the box. Oh, guarantee card. Not much else. And it does say made in the USA, so should have been my first clue. Graveyard, a super detailed and creepy deck. It says a bunch of skulls. Whoa, I can barely read this. Graveyard playing cards designed in... Ugh, I can't even read this. It's Cardamundi. That's all I got. That's all I got. Cardamundi. Graveyard. Upside down cross. Right side up cross. I can fix that. Whoa, super. Okay. Uh, what the heck? More, uh, more foil. So, skull there. Red background, spots in each corner, crosses in each corner. Spreads fine for a foil back deck. 
I don't know that I like the colors, the orange and red. It's when you stick orange and red so close together, it's hard to see. Very detailed card faces. I hope you can see uh, all that action going on. There's a club. There's a diamond. This is obviously one of your Joker cards. Your other Joker card. Did I review this? I'm not remembering reviewing this deck. Uh, there's a Jack. Your queen is missing part of her face. She's some sort of android. The king has a skull face and a sword. Uh, diamond cards. More robotic skull kings, clubs. There, and there's little skulls inside each of the pips too. I don't know if you can see that. And then kind of like a watermark backdrop. This isn't exactly black either. It's like a deep blue. More skulls. I really don't remember reviewing this deck. I really, really don't. Ace of Spades, right there. And anything else? Just a really creepy, really creepy deck. Skull Jokers. I'll see if I can find some more information about this and put it on the screen for you. Let's do a prism. I got three prisms here. So I think this is the standard prism and then prism dusk and then prism day. Okay. So obviously uh, these are part of a set from elephant playing cards. Life's too short for boring playing cards. Elephantplayingcards.com. Um, we can do them one at a time for sure. Nice printed inside tuck. Solid black back design with the four pips done in kind of like a rainbow ink. I don't think elephant prints with bicycle. Yeah, yeah they print in China, but still a pretty decent stock. They don't clump up. Uh, Joker cards, kind of like a retro 80s look. Same throughout, black faces, right? Let's fan the faces just so you can see what's going on there. Lots of color, right? Neons. Your reds are an orangey color and your blacks are a blue color. Probably going to have that. You have these shooting, can you see those beams of light coming off the backside? They're on every, they're on every card. So color throughout the whole deck, original layout, original court cards as well. Two way, but just their heads and the objects they're holding. Large aces, okay? Not really a whole lot different between suit to suit. So just the indice in the corner really tells you what color uh, the cards are. Again, more of a collector's deck. Maybe I'd play cards with these, but I wouldn't use them for magic. So too busy. I'm really more of a if I get into busy, I like a busy back design and a simple, clean face. But that's it. Dusk, I'm guessing, is going to be more, more of the dark, right? Can't even get the tuck box open. Big, huge tuck flap. More printed inside tuck lining. Got You got some little foil there as well. Horizon line across space. Is that the back design? Yeah. Full bleed, no border. Okay. And similar face as well. Look at that. So, and again, orange for red suits, blue for black suits. Jokers look like the back. Ace of spades. Similar look. Um, got those beams of light shooting off on the cards. That horizon line really repeated front and back. Uh, court cards are the same, same artwork, just different color. So it'd be good to get both decks. And if you did, uh, you did gaming, always looks better when your Ace of Hearts is right side up. If you did uh, games that require two decks, this would be a good deck set to get if you did uh, that. And let's see if Prism Day is that much different. I'm guessing it will not be. It has a weird texture to it. 
Weird. Big huge tuck flap again. Printed tuck liner, different back design. Kind of like a, what, what were those color wheel things that made the art spiral? Oh my gosh. Massively clumped together. Let me see if I can spring these apart. Get some, get some air in there. That was a little better. They were super clumpy. The edges were really crisp. They're softer now. Jokers. That's a really odd image. Isn't it? <clears throat> I don't know if I would have gone with the image that looks like that. Uh, Ace there. And again, beams of light, but this time on a lighter back design. So you can actually see them. But again, same with the black font is blue, or the black suits are blue. Really dark faces there. Kind of washes out some of the detail. Kind of hard to see what they look like. Ace of Hearts, nice and big. Kind of looks like a uh, looks like a Pride deck, kind of, doesn't it? Remind after having come off of it was Pride Month last month, by the way. So I don't know when you're watching this, but whenever you see the rainbow now, kind of reminds you of of Pride. And what else? Anything else interesting? Usually with uh, Chinese decks, you don't get China printed decks. China printed decks, um, you don't see extra cards. So I got two left. Two left. Um, let's do. Let's do this one. So I never know how to say this. Eighty Jux. Aid. Eighty Jux playing cards designed by Weston Bingham and Matt Fox. There we go. Fun cardistry deck, I'm guessing, right? Lots of color there. Spreads nice. Feels like bikes, feels like a bike deck. Ooh, the edges. So the borders go from blue, orange, green. I wonder if they're just the other side. Maybe that's what it is, yeah. The back design is split. So half the back design has a green edge. The other side has a pink edge. So it makes the back um, one way. What about the face? Anything going on on the face? Oh, again, look, another theme. The suits are blue uh, for blacks and then pink for red. So I've had that theme. And I don't know how I do this. I don't, I don't group things in my boxes uh, together like that on purpose. Ace of spades. Court cards, faces washed out with pastel colors. So creative back designs. Again, fun for gameplay and cardistry, but I wouldn't use these for magic. I think you always want your spectators, because you never know how familiar they are going to be with cards, you know, and when they select a card, you want them to be able to take it and then remember, you know, oh, I had a four of spades and it's a black card, right? So that's kind of my personal take, uh, philosophy. Jokers look like that. And then you get two ad cards. And we're down to our last deck. Down to our last deck in box 15. Thanks for coming along on the ride with me. Rogue playing cards, Amethyst Purple Edition, poker size. Designed by Jason Nguyen, created it in California. I remember Jason Nguyen. You remember Jason? Work hard, dream big, and there's a seven of spades reveal on the bottom of there. 2019. Uh, these don't feel like... I think this was a Kickstarter project he did because there's your backers. And Jason Nguyen Designs ad card, poker hands info card, and they are marked cards. There's your marked card reader. Does Jason Nguyen still make cards? I remember he was really young, and uh, I think his dad was helping him print his cards way back when. It's hard to see. It's a bunch of circles. Poker back, no border. And original layout, original font in each corner, and you got all four corners have marks. 
Got a watermark there underneath as well. Blacks are black. Borderless court cards stripped of all color. That's cool. I like that. Makes it interesting. Diamonds are not actual diamonds. They're little prisms, and the color is more of a purple than red, right? There's the King of Clubs. King of Clubs is my favorite card in the deck. Um, do you know why? Do you know why the King of Clubs is my favorite card in the deck? 100 points if you know. Big fat King of Clubs. What am I saying? Big fat Ace of Clubs. Chunky. And there's your Ace of Spades right there. There you go. Box 15. Thanks for coming along on the ride with me. 35 minute video with only two coffee breaks. We'll make that a third. Mmm. Good cold coffee. Um, yeah, every week going through a different deck. Uh, collection box and uh, we'll be looking at box 16 next week. Who knows what gems we'll find inside. Thanks for watching guys. See you next time. Bye.